Song Jen Ming, a graduate from Jilin University, took the local civil service examination in his hometown of Changje this past April. Song did very well, scoring both the highest scores in written and oral exams. But it was the score of 70-88 that failed Song. Those were the hemoglobin count numbers from his physical examination, and those are below civil service requirements. This blood work not only dashed the hope of his dream job, he was warned that these low figures can lead to problems like leukemia. I was really scared because the doctors warned me of the possibility of having leukemia. I was not thinking about whether to be a civil servant or not because I was thinking about my life. So Song immediately went to another hospital to have an overall physical checkup again. Much to his surprise and also to his relief, the result from the hospital was completely different from the one that he got from the civil service exams. He was totally fine according to the new result. Just to be sure, Song went to other hospitals to take physical exams and he did the same exam and the same blood work five times. And the results all told him that his hemoglobin figure was in the normal range. But why was the first exam, the first of six, a complete opposite in the hemoglobin count. Song started to wonder whether there were some shady deals behind the civil service examination. Maybe some kind of special treatment that allowed someone else to take his position in the entry of civil service. Song investigated. He asked others, both in and out of the service, but no result. So he went online with his story and has gotten a lot of attention from the media. It turns out that the physical examination for the civil service exam was carried out by the local hospital, Peace Hospital, in the Medical College of Chengzhou. They have investigated specifically this case because of Song's media exposure. Doctors in the hospital found there were logical errors in the physical report for Song Jiangmin. Experts from the hospital now suspect the figures on the reports were distorted by someone else. Not willing to take the blame, an announcement from the Municipal Human Resources and Social Security Bureau on the official website made a media-grabbing statement. Their statement was that the physical examination Song took was strictly in line with the regulations. It was done with full supervision by the disciplinary and supervisory department. But given the fact that the hospital admitted there was something wrong with the figures, how could the local bureau still make such a different response? What is the truth? We can only hope the local disciplinary and supervisory department gives us the explanation or allows Song to have his blood analyzed under extra supervision.